The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Yesterday, uh, a tragedy occurred in San Bernardino, and uh, as I said uh, in the immediate aftermath, uh, our first order of business is to send our thoughts and prayers to the families uh, of those who've been killed uh, and uh, to pray for a speedy recovery for those who were injured uh, during this terrible attack. Uh, I had a chance to speak with Mayor Davis of San Bernardino, and I thanked uh, law enforcement in that city for their timely and professional response. Uh, I indicated to Mayor Davis that the entire country is thinking about that community, uh, and thanked him and his office for uh, the way that they've been able to manage an extraordinarily difficult situation with uh, calm uh, and clarity uh, and uh, very much appreciated the coordination that's been taking place between local law enforcement uh, and the FBI investigators. Uh, at this stage, we do not yet know uh, why this terrible event occurred. Uh, we do know that uh, the two uh, individuals who were killed were equipped with uh, weapons uh, and uh, appeared to have access to uh, additional weaponry at their homes. Uh, but we don't know why they did it. Uh, we don't know uh, at this point uh, the extent of their plans. Uh, we do not know uh, their motivations. And I just received a briefing from FBI Director Comey, as well as Attorney General Lynch, uh, indicating uh, the course of their investigation. At this point, this is now a FBI investigation. Uh, that's been done in cooperation uh, and consultation with local law enforcement. Uh, it is possible that this was terrorist related, but we don't know. Uh, it's also possible that this was workplace related. Uh, and until uh, the FBI has been able to conduct uh, what are going to be a large number of interviews, uh, until we understand uh, the nature of uh, the workplace relationship uh, between uh, the individual and uh, his superiors, because he worked uh, with the organization where uh, this terrible shooting took place, uh, until uh, all the social media and electronic information has been exploited. We're just not going to be able to answer uh, those questions. Uh, but uh, what I can assure the American people is we're going to get to the bottom of this and that we are going to be uh, vigilant, as we always are, in getting the facts uh, before we issue uh, any uh, decisive judgments in terms of how this occurred. More broadly, uh, as I said yesterday, you know, we see the prevalence of these kinds of mass shootings in this country. Uh, and I think so many Americans sometimes feel as if there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we are fortunate to have an extraordinary uh, combination of law enforcement and intelligence uh, and military that work every single day to keep us safe. But we can't just leave it to our professionals to, uh, to deal with uh, the problem of these kinds of horrible killings. Uh, we all have a part to play. And I do think that as the investigation moves forward, it's going to be important for all of us, including uh, our legislatures, uh, to see what we can do uh, to make sure that when individuals decide that they want to do somebody harm, uh, we're making it a little harder for them to do it. Uh, because right now it's just too easy. Uh, and uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to, I think, search ourselves as a society to, to make sure that we can uh, take basic steps that uh, would make it harder not impossible, but harder uh, for individuals uh, to get access to weapons. So uh, 
there will be, I think, a press conference later today, uh, led by the Attorney General. Uh, Director Comey will continue to brief uh, not only uh, the press, but also members of Congress uh, about the course of the investigation. Our expectation is, is that this uh, may take some time before we're able to sort it all through. Uh, there may be mixed motives involved in this, uh, which makes uh, the investigation more complicated. Uh, but uh, rest assured that uh, we will get to the bottom of this. And in the meantime, once again, uh, I want to offer uh, our deepest condolences to those who've been uh, who, who've been affected uh, by this uh, terrible tragedy. And uh, for those who've been injured, uh, we hope that uh, they get well quickly uh, and that uh, you know, they're able to be back together with their families. Okay? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.